Hi, my name is Brian, and welcome to this week's Ask Brian part of our weekly newsletter. So the newsletter is put out by the Data Science Lab here at the Johns Hopkins Department of Biostatistics. And if you want, sign up. There's a link in the YouTube uh, description below, video description below. And you can keep up with all the kind of interesting things that the Data Science Lab is doing here. We have a lot of stuff going on, and so it's probably pretty nice via the newsletter to keep up on. Uh, also subscribe if you get a chance, and there also, there's also a link in the comment section below on how to submit your own question. Okay, so this question was a bit of a controversial one, and it is, someone asked, is data science going to take over the field of statistics? And this is kind of a hard question, of course, because it's asking to predict in the future, who knows. Um, also, data science isn't a terribly well-developed field in the sense that, by and large, universities don't have departments of data science. You know, there's no standard curriculum for data science. Um, you know, so it's it's very difficult to really judge. So, I guess part of this question for me boils down to: Is there something unique that the field of statistics or biostatistics uh, uh, has? that, that uh, kind of it only it can, can, can contribute. And I would say that's broadly true of the subject of, of inference, formal inference. And that is the, you know, the process of drawing conclusions about a population from a set of data. If you want to do that in a, in a sort of rigorous way, whether it's with modeling or a variety of other techniques, the, the entire history of that has been in the field of statistics. So, and, and I, I've noticed that even highly mathematical people, even people who are well-trained in things like probability, struggle when it comes to you know, the concepts of analyzing the observational data set or concepts of you know, comparing the output of an observational data set with that of a randomized trial, uh, modeling and things like that. These are, these are very um, difficult thing, concepts to wrap your mind around how these extend inference is, is, you know, it, it either takes training in statistics, taking statistics classes taught by statisticians, or it takes, you know, if you want to be an expert at it, it takes advanced training in statistics. So in that sense, I definitely see a very bright future for the field of statistics because I don't see the need for formal generalization from data to populations. I don't see that need for that going away anytime soon. Also, I would say the empirical evidence supports uh, that status statistics and biostatistics are going to keep going, at least in the foreseeable future. Stat departments are having record enrollments, or I'm sorry, record applications. You know, I can say this year was our record number of applicants for the Department of Biostatistics at Johns Hopkins. So I, I think it's, it's fair to say that all the data that I've heard of suggests that these fields are doing well. Now the big question is, will universities or other entities um, treat data science as the big tent discipline of which statistics is a component? And that there's a future where that could surely occur. Um, statistics is often thought of historically as a sub-branch of mathematics, which doesn't really make that much sense. Yes, there's a lot of mathematics and statistics, but certainly it isn't a sub-branch of it. If you look at, for example, the um, um, uh, the National Science Foundation, uh, its funding of statistics grants really falls under the rubric of their mathematics program, which is just, you know, understandably, that's a, you know, that's an organization. They have to put it somewhere, uh, so they do it there. But you could, you could envision in the future statistics being a sub-branch of data science. Now, of course, there's another future where statistics itself becomes the big tent discipline that just subsumes data science. I... I've noticed that in the field of data science, not a lot of departments of any kind, whether it's statistics or computer science and so on, want to grow the entire scope that's needed to subsume the field of data science. Because data science is really, as it's you know, kind of loosely defined now, it's a really expansive discipline. So you know, do you know, statistics departments want to then hire people who are data engineers and have expertise in databases and really have very little overlap with their traditional core expertise. Same thing with, you know, computer science departments. They want to hire pure statisticians and, you know, and, and same thing with informatics programs and that sort of thing. So 
um, it, it, I think it's hard at this point for any one discipline to grow to the, be the kind of Big Ten organization that would be able to subsume data science. However, the idea of data science being a Big Ten discipline that subsumes some of these other places in the, in the way that they're already contained, you know, computer science departments are, always in, are, are often in departments of engineering or departments of liberal arts, and stat departments are often even sometimes even housed inside mathematics departments. But um, so uh, I could see that going on. I could see schools of data science happening and that sort of thing. But it, but again, it's very hard to predict, um, and uh, that's a really difficult question. But the core of the question is: Will statistics be here? You know, in the foreseeable future, I I would I think I can confidently say yes to that. So you can hold me to it. All right. Thanks again for the question. If you get a chance, submit one and subscribe to the channel and, and uh, subscribe to our newsletter. See you next week.